Hey, Socially Nina here, social media strategist, technical trainer, and owner of Nina Simone Consulting. So today's question comes from, again, the Business Masterminds group. Um, this is from Nadia Clara in Hayward, California. She is owner of Rebellious Artistry, and I love that name. Um, Rebellious Artistry is a company that does um, she does makeup um, and hairstyles and specializes in color and thermal styles. So her question is how does she add her logo to the photography um, or the images that she gets? She's been doing a lot of photo sessions for her work and she wants to put her logo on there to make sure everyone knows who she is. So today I'm actually going to teach you how to do this three different ways. This video right here is going to be for Canva. However, um, I'm going to create two separate videos, two other separate videos, one for PicMonkey because it's actually easier to do it in PicMonkey, and then one for your phone because I know she's a heavy mobile um, user and I want to test my new little app um, to record my phone. So let's get started with Canva, how to add your logo. And before, actually, before I get started, let me tell you, this is referred to a lot of different ways. Um, sometimes it's referred to as a layer. Sometimes it's um, referred to as an overlay or as a watermark. All of them are the same. It's basically putting something on something else and making it a little um, transparent so you can see through it. So let's get started. Okay, I'm not going to go over how I got here or how to add images since I do that in my mini course, Beginner's Guide to Awesome Graphics with Canva. Um, if you do want to learn more about how to use Canva, just go to www dot sociallynina.com and just put your email address in one of the boxes. Um, there's going to be a pop-up and top bar and you'll get the training for free. But for now, I'm just going to add this image. Um, I'll just drag it here. Okay. It's kind of big, but anyways, I'll add it here. Okay. So now I have my image. I didn't use any template, just drag it to the screen. And I'm going to look for my logo, which I already have here. Okay. And I'm going to resize it. Again, I teach this all in my course, so I'm not going to go over how to resize. Okay. Since the pink is very similar to the background color, I'm going to need something that kind of um, separates it. So. This is really easy. I'm going to go up to search and go to shapes. You could use any shape, but for me, and actually I'm going to see if I could use the heart, but it's going to probably be too um, big. So um, I'm going to use this one. The first or the square all the way on the right is a transparent square. I clicked on the eye to see that um, each of the eyes give you more information on the type of square it is. Sorry, I did too. So I'm just going to resize this to about the size of my logo. Okay, so just using the handlebars. Okay, now I want to click on back because I want it behind my logo. Okay, and if you want, you can change the color, change the transparency. So I'm going to go to transparency and this change it just a little bit more there okay so then that looks actually pretty nice and then that's it for canva it was pretty pretty easy um i'm going to move on to the second video where i will show you how to do it with PicMonkey. hey so did you like that video if so please like and subscribe if anything didn't make sense or you have a question still go ahead and leave your comments below and i will try to answer them the best i can Again, like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.